I am glad that the government is thinking in terms of the small growers by all means give them representation but let not an attempt be made as though the bigger growers are not looking after the interests of the small growers because that is far from the truth if the coffee board has achieved one grand result it is a rehabilitate and help the small growers so far as the question of payment from the pool is concerned the small grower gets the full amount due according to the costing the moment he delivers the coffee there is a separate method of costing and the whole amount is paid immediately whereas in the case of the bigger growers it is not so payments are made as and when coffee is sold in the market and abroad supposing this aid was not there for the small grower what would have happened he would have had to make distress sales he would have had to take whatever the market was able to offer and he would not have had the benefit of export prices which rule as much as 100% over and above the home prices sorry the prices of coffee abroad is twice as much as it is in india the small grower would not have had the ghost of a chance of getting higher prices by the sale of coffee to foreign countries not only that he also gets his basic price immediately on delivery of the coffee to the pool over and above all this he gets the benefit of all the scientific research when he would not have otherwise go he gets all the aid from the bigger growers because as my honorable friend said yesterday it is to the advantage of the higher planters to help the smaller ones there is a disease which is communicable and which can destroy the neighboring estates so in these multifarious ways the small growers are today helped and they are immensely thankful to the bigger growers and to the coffee board now a special plea is sought to be entered on behalf of the small growers when i say is that we can have representation for small growers on the board that is perfectly right but let there be no suggestion whatever to the effect that the cause of the small growers was neglected that is not correct as regards financial aid that is a state problem that is a union problem and that is a problem for the whole of the country in respect of the all developmental activities one thing i must say and that is that there are obvious limitations for the small growers the acreage is limited and they cannot spread beyond that they have got their paddy fields and their plantain gardens and so 
ड्यू टू लिमिटेशन दे कैन नॉट स्प्रेड ओवर एनी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉफी मीन्स अ लार्ज एकज एंड दैट इज नॉट अवेलेबल टू स्मॉल ग्रोवर्स इवन इफ दे हैव गॉट दी कैपेसिटी इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर देम टू फाइंड फॉरेस्ट लैंड्स नियर बाय इट इज नॉट इजीली पॉसिबल फॉर एनी मैन टू गो ओवर फिफ्टी माइल्स एंड देन टेक अप अ जंगल सो द स्मॉल ग्रोवर्स हैव देयर ओन लिमिटेशंस आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू दैट बट वॉट आई डू से इज दैट दिस आइडिया इंट्रोड्यूस्ड for the first time here in the parliament that the interests of the small growers have got to be specially protected is i submit a policy which will create a difference between the bigger grower and the small grower i submit that there is no reason whatsoever to distrust the plantation industry and deny them the right to select their own representatives and to introduce the word nomination here why should we have nomination if there is need for separate representation for the small growers why should we not reserve a seat in each place for the small grower that is the easiest and the best way to give representation to the small growers this can easily be done and therefore i submit that the words or nominated may kindly be deleted from the bill i do not know whether the procedure would permit of it because there are certain difficulties but in any case if at least we get an assurance from my friend that these 12 are going to be elected it would be something gained for a poor like me and for the industry after the question of constitution of the board comes the question about the chairman on that that question i hope sir that the house will kindly appreciate that for more than one reason it would not be the best arrangement to have a whole time appointed chairman there are two suggestions in this connection my honorable friends suggestion is that it must be an elected office as hitherto he has also said that out of the 13 years only for one and a half years has there been a planter as chairman otherwise the post was always held by an officer